147784 Rocky Begin. The name is a forward side. Okay. That is our name. Well, um, yeah. you guys play here to 7784C? Yeah. Yeah. Alright. So, um, can, uh, who is this your first year? This is, um, my second year. His, he, I played in, uh, I got second in the Tri State Regional competition with these guys. These guys, it's their first, these two, it's their first year. And this is Nick, um, who played in the B tournament here last year. Nice. Alright, so we got some experience with some fresh face, that's always fun. Um, can you tell us a bit about your design here and some of its pros and cons? Okay, so we, we have our belt taken off right now. We're making some design changes. We're gearing this up a little bit of time. But basically, we have a belt over here that holds the buckyballs under and sucks in three. Stop back here, and then uh, you want to raise the six bar, Jacob? Well, I didn't do anything. Cut the zip tie. It's happening. We're under construction right now. Oh, yeah, that zip tie's not going to work. But, um, okay, so basically, we extend all the way up to past the top of the uh, cylinder, and then we can drop the buckyballs in. And we're also high enough to hang, but we don't have a mechanism to hang. And when we start out, this folds in like this, and then, and then, and then these standoffs hold it up, and when we move forward, it comes down. Just pops right out. Right. Yeah. So that way we're still leaving. And for our base, we have a steel base to make it a bit heavier. Half steel. We, we doubled up steel here. Yeah, we got a half. Everything else is pretty aluminum except our towers. We've got Omni wheels. We originally had Makoni wheels or Mechanum wheels, um, but they're really slow. Yeah, we weren't really doing anything with them other than they looked pretty awesome. Awesome. Uh, so we took them off to play some of the wheels, which we're going to make a change to the back wheels. They're going to be high traction tires okay. so that we can't just be pushed. Yeah, Because like this, if we get rammed into it, we can just be pushed sideways. Yep. A lot of teams have been saying about to talk about that, how they're going to those kind of wheels. What do you guys feel about this year's event as compared to some of the previous years? And being YouTube being fresh faces, how do you guys feel about this year's event? Well, I think the big, biggest difference in terms of starting out making a new ro robot is I think it's easier for um, newer teams to be more competitive this year. Since because last year, in order to really be effective in the score, you had to actually like score in a cross. I mean, and this year you can just push balls around and still be effective. Which is a huge difference for teams just starting out. We have a bigger variety of robots. Like last year, there was only a few types of robots that were well. Now we can see our robot, we can see robots all around here that you guys have interviewed. That are completely different. They don't even look the same. Yep, it's not like all a bunch of. Last year, I mean, last year, it was just every, just about every robot had a six bar. And, and some it, was, sort of it wasn't scoop it. most of them didn't even have a vacuum. It was just a scoop. Yeah. So all they did was just uh, roll straight up to the sack. Yeah, this year also it's like they didn't have to change a lot of designs. Like to be honest, theirs is like completely different because they still have a lot of their same designs. The way they have to the balls. I don't know about Jacob, but last, last year I just didn't have a qualifying robot. It sucks. Um, but this year there's a lot of good robots and a lot of good teams that we can go up against. Yeah. Um, how do you guys feel about that high bar? Oh, that's, that's, oh, that's interesting. It's a, very, it's a lot like the high goal last year where not every team's going to do it, but when they do do it, it's going to be pretty high. Yeah. I think a lot of teams aren't really worrying about it for their first competition or two, but I think it's something that will be very common at the end of the year. But I think it'll be interesting because at Worlds, just about every robot will probably be able to hang. And it'll just be interesting to see different robots trying to like, beat each other in the game. One thing that is nice though is that with our arms will extend to 36 inches high. So all we have to do is just put a small hook on and we can hang it with relative ease. So, what is your guys' hope for this year's competition? We hope to win. We hope to win. We hope to win. <laughs> we, hope to win. we hope to get the world. Yeah. Hope the world. Do you, do you have like a uh, high, high spin team you guys want to take, or do you just want to go for it? We all? just want to go. We want to go get as far as we can. If we don't make it far, we want to go with those guys and give them some support. You know, another team from the same school. No, we're gonna we're gonna demolish them. Thank you guys. And Good luck. Uh,